When the brain signals muscle movement, nerves send an action potential along the motor neuron and the signal will use neurotransmitters to reach the sarcolemma of the muscle. The action potential will travel down the T-tubules and actively transport calcium ions from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Once the calcium ions are released, it will bind to the troponin of the actin, which will then move the tropomyosin and expose the myosin binding sites. As the binding sites are exposed, ATP moves the myosin heads into high energy configuration, which allows it to bind to the actin, forming a cross bridge. Then the myosin head moves from high energy configuration to low energy configuration. This is the power stroke that slides the actin, shortening the sarcomere. Lastly, ATP breaks the cross bridge of the myosin and actin, relaxing the muscle. This entire process is repeated until the muscle movement is accomplished. Rigor mortis occurs after death when there is no regulation of the calcium ions in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This causes the exposure of the binding sites. There is just enough ATP to form the cross bridge, but there is not enough ATP to break, break them, leaving the muscles in a contracted state.